Hey guys, I'm Ken and this is the Shop Mini RC. Welcome back. Today we're going to look at our FCX24 Power Wagon, one of them, and we're going to throw some extended wheelbase links on it. Now this one's already got some. These are the McHugh RC uh, 3D printed links, but we also have some RC all-wheel drive. These are aluminum ones and they come with the drive shaft. This is a metal drive shaft. So we think we want to take these links and throw them on a different rig and throw these red links because we're keeping the red wheels on here on this rig. And I also just wanted to kind of compare and show uh, the two products side by side. And uh, yeah, you can see the differences. So let's get this apart and I'll show you what these links and uh, the McHughes look like when compared to each other. Now, before I get this guy completely apart, I just want to show how much articulation we have with the McHughes. We've got pretty good articulation. I mean, it's all the way down and you can get that guy all the way up there. It's pretty good. We do have our screws kind of loose, so there's a little bit of play, just a little bit. But if you tighten down your screws too tight, you, you end up limiting your articulation a little bit. So you need to have them just a little loose, but not too much. Okay. So let's get this off and we'll compare lengths and I'll just show you the differences. All right, we've got those guys off. Let's go ahead and open this up. Alrighty. It is nice that this set comes with the uh, dry shaft. Hmm. It's a little, a little rough there. That could be a little more smooth, but it is metal. So that's nice sure you could sand it down just a little bit make it feel a little bit more smooth but there's a little little roughness in there but that's okay all right so let's go ahead and compare here I guess to this side no oh, they're the same so they printed on both sides which is nice you have rc all-wheel drive on both sides um it kind of is annoying when they print them on the same side and then when you put them on there you have it on this side and on that on the inside but not on the outside and so Definitely smart to put the, the logo. If you're going to put a logo, put it on both sides. All right, so here's our upper link. You can see this is a much longer stretch. much much longer stretch so i believe the McHughes are supposed to be plus 28 and then these rco wheel drives are plus 35 and then i think this drive shaft that comes with is a 70 millimeter drive shaft yeah basically 70 millimeters which is I think it's a little longer than the uh, gladiator we're using a gladiator drive shaft here let me pull that off, we'll measure it. 77 versus 85. So that's like an extra eight millimeters on the uppers. And 76 versus 66. Interesting, so that's an extra 10 there. Eighty five. Seventy five. So it's ten millimeters longer. And then seventy five, yeah. To sixty five. So these are gonna be an extra ten millimeters. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and throw these guys on. Let's see, we need some pivots. Just a small note, whenever you're assembling these pivot balls, there's a side that will not go through right it's like a it's larger diameter always make sure that's the side that your screws are going into so in this example this is going to go like this and our screw is going to go into there so your screw head is against the larger side and the side that potentially could come out is up against your mounting point that way it can never pull off if you do them the other way you could potentially pull the link off the o-ring and basically come unmounted so always just make sure that's correct just for the new guys out there Yeah, let's go ahead and measure this drive shaft. This is 
again, I believe this is the gladiators what we ended up using. And it's right at uh, 68. Yeah, basically 68 millimeters. And the one that comes with, again, is right at 70. So it's an extra two millimeters longer. When you put your drive shaft in, always make sure it's in phase, just so you know what that means. See how the ears are the same? You could have it like that, and that is out of phase. So you always want your drive shaft in phase. Also, you want your open end. And this isn't such a big deal on these, but usually the open end goes to the transmission or transfer case, and the shaft end goes on your axle. The reason for that is, at least on bigger rigs, your axle is pointing downward, right? Like that. And then dirt and whatnot is less likely to get pushed up into there. Who knows? It's, I mean, it's spinning, so probably not, but that's the idea is that if you have this at the higher end and this on the lower end, you'd be less likely to get dirt up in there. That's the thought anyway. How much it really matters, I don't know. But we'll go ahead and do that. We do like to make sure they're in, in phase though, because high speed spinning when they're out of phase can uh, cause vibration. So make sure you do that. This comes with little tiny grub screws. Oh man, I don't know what size these are. Uh, I guess it came with a came with an Allen, so we'll use that. And I kind of wish these were the same size. I wish these were basically the same size as these, you know, 0 0.05 inch or a 1.3 millimeter. I am not a fan of these tiny ones, tiny grub screws. These could be bigger, for sure. They do give you an extra, so that's nice. You know, your extra. Whoa, it's trying to jump away. There we go. Yeah, it would just be nice if this was a 1.3 or 0 0.05, since that's kind of the sizes we use a lot in the SCX, FCX, TRX. We use a 1.5 a lot. Come on. We use the 0 0.05 a lot and the 1.3. I feel like it'd also be better if these were C-cut so that they fit on there a little better. You don't have to worry about them spinning in there or whatever. Or at least give longer screws, longer grub screws, so that you can guarantee that you're going all the way into the shaft. Um, it's hard to know if you're actually all the way going into the shaft or if these are going to back out. I do not like these little guys. Let me just reiterate one more time. <laughs> these little grub screws are not ideal. You want them to be longer, at least. Because you don't know if you're in the hole. You don't know if it's actually going to hold. I don't know. Definitely not a fan. Or at least give us four so we can do both sides. But even then, I'd rather just have one longer grub screw a long one that goes almost all the way through that'd be ideal all the way through the other side you know it's not coming off this little tiny grub screw no good seems like it's holding fine but again and time will tell just something to be cautious of all right we're all all good there i do like that they give us multiple shock mounting positions i think we're gonna mount it in the farthest back can just use your stock shock screws here and they just screw right in now you may want to use a little bit of blue loctite in there uh, if you find that they're coming loose we're not going to use loctite right now because we're not sure the permanent home of these links or the McHugh links we're kind of rebuilding some stuff all right here we go So there's your trailing arm, long stretched arm suspension. Um, feels pretty free. Some pretty good articulation. There's more than the McHugh for sure. But again, not, it's not always ideal to have crazy maximum articulation, but you do want it to not bind. So neither one of them bind. They both feel really good. Um, I think these are partly, you're getting more flex out of it because it's just longer, right? The longer the, the links, the more you're gonna actually get uh, travel. Another thing you can do is you can flip these to the other side, right? So that the link goes like this, and that'll actually, with your shock, give you more right height. So you can actually lift it up in the back if you wanted um, and have basically like a high clearance link. Um, 
that's one thing you could do with these links and uh, some people have done with the BQ links. I think it's just because I installed them wrong, but it does definitely lift your truck. Now, if you don't do something to your front, it's gonna it's gonna be raked pretty heavily. It's gonna be pretty pretty forward. But they're supposed to be like this. Also, your RC all-wheel drive would be upside down. But now it comes with these silver pivot balls. I am not sure what these are for, I'll be honest. Also, two more screws and an extra grub screw. And then of course your tools, but I'm not sure what the uh, two screws and the pivots are for. Maybe shocks, maybe, if they were using aftermarket shocks. Um, I'm not 100%, there's nowhere else to use these pivots. So do not know, it doesn't mention on the website or anything. So if you know what these little pivots are for, these silver ones, because these ones are brass, I believe. So if you know what the silver pivots and extra shorter screws are for, well, let me know. So I totally forgot that when we switched over the McHugh links, we actually just pull the pivot balls out of these links and we put them into the shock so that we can mount them here. So these silver balls, yep, well, wherever they went, they uh, they definitely they go into your shock so that you can put a screw through. We're just actually using the pivot balls from here. So you can do the same thing if you replace this, pull this out, pull these pivot balls out, put them in your shock, and then you have an actual pivot ball in there versus a screw. So that's an option. Uh, we did use shorter screws here and the rest are all the longer screws. Don't forget that these, uh, I should have shown this, sorry. These have sleeves in there and you can see it's kind of hard, but there is a kind of, a, it's not, it's a bushing, I guess, but that's a sleeve through the chassis and you want to put the uh, spacer side, I guess, towards your link. That'll give you a little bit extra space and help with your uh, articulation. All right, let's go ahead and throw our wheels on and get her done. All righty, kids, all done. Looks pretty cool. I dig it. I need to get red links for the front if I'm going to keep these guys on this truck, but, uh, Definitely stretches it. I mean, it's 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 far. It's it's way past the rear, right? But they work. Got some pretty good flex. Again, it's nice that it's got multiple shock adjustment spots, for sure. It's nice that they're aluminum. They are thin. Although I do like the kind of beefy look of the. Uh, McHughes. They, they look nice and thick. They fit. They definitely fit the look of the truck. Um, but being aluminum, they don't really need to be thick. And you'd rather have less weight, right? You want your weight on your axles, not on your links or your body or your chassis. You want the weight on the axles as much as possible. Well, below the shocks, really. Anyway. Definitely could do some cool droop builds that are super stretched. Some belly draggers. That could be fun. Um, we need to do oil in these shocks or something. They're a little little sticky and a little, a little bouncy, but that's okay. Everything's moving smooth. See how that wobbles? That's why I kind of want it to be on a D. Seems like it'll do good though. Seems fine to me. I'm just anal when it comes to that kind of stuff. All right. So we got our trusty level here. We're at 50 degrees. Let's run it up there. It's like it's mostly a tire issue. But she's staying planted. All right, let's go ahead and increase it a little bit. Do 54. 54. Just really looks like it's the tires. You just can't get enough grip, but it's not flipping. Let's get it to where it'll flip. So there's a 57 degree. Let's see where we're at now. Oh, 
That might be it. And see this back wheel over there that was lifting. It's still kind of going. It's not really flipping when we try to speed up it. All right. Guess we can try a little more. So, 58. So yeah, I'd say like 55 is realistic. It's definitely better than if it were stock. The extra extra length here is, is gonna be huge when you're trying to do uphill. Also, these are really tall wheels and tires, so if we had some uh, smaller ones or a little bit wider and grippier, we might be able to make it up a little better. Right now we're just trying to use wheel speed to get up there, but it's it's not really rolling back. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but again, we're at, what, 60, 58? Yeah, 58, 59, so I'd say 55 is, is doable. All right, so here we are at 55, 56, somewhere in there. So again, if we had tires, it'd make it. So I hope that gave you some insight into the RC all-wheel drive upgraded extended wheelbase kit. Uh, you can pick this up on their site for $29.99. It's probably also on Amazon. We'll put some links down below. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for that the, the longest wheelbase, really, uh, these are going to do well. They're definitely cool. Uh, on their website, they show them using these in the front as well. It really extends it, so you're probably going to be running a totally different body, but that is like that is a super long wheelbase if you put them on the front too. Um, but hey, if you're trying to do something crazy, maybe uh, do some kind of a long base comp rig, definitely could uh, use these links for that. Um, if you don't want them so long, you know, there's always the McHughes and the McHughes are awesome as well. So don't forget to check those out as well. But yeah, RC all wheel drive, great looking. They also come in black. So if you don't want the red, they come in black as well. So just red and black, no blues or greens or yellows, but uh, we dig the red. That goes with the red wheels. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Hope you learned something. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. And uh, why don't you go ahead and comment down below, extended. Put extended in the comments. Well, we thought we were done. We weren't done. We ended up getting these in way quicker than we thought we would. This is a set of front high clearance links. They're the stock 48.5. And um, front steering links as well. So we're going to throw that stuff on here. And uh, once it's all in there, we'll show you how cool all the red looks. Oh, and we figured out what the little silver ones were for that came with the rears. They are for the shocks. So if you were for some reason needing to mount pivots in the shocks, um, like if they were mounted here on the, where the stock shocks normally are, as in the front here, you put the little silver balls inside your stock shocks. And uh, they're pivots for that. They fit perfect in the stock shocks. So pretty awesome. All right. Bamsies. Got our steering links. Our high clearance links we're all red now nice and matching looks great awesome we got this kit way faster than we thought we were going to i thought we were going to have to do we'd just do a separate video when we got them in but they came in before i finished this video magic of editing so this set they also make a rear set that's not extended and it's basically just the upper y link and the lower links uh, that's $19. But then this set that comes with the front steering links is $23.99, so $24. And they make them in red and black as well. Uh, so pr pretty good price for uh, the steering links and that. I kind of wish it was a four-link upper, but this will do. I like that it just matches. It's all matching. Wish we would have had a silver metal drive shaft, but that would have just had more cost increase, and there's really no reason for it because this one will work fine. Unless you start popping out or... You know, you're popping your U joints or something weird. 
If you break it, I guess you'd want a replacement. I wonder if they sell a silver metal replacement. Let's look. Looks like no. They only have the uh, this guy here. So if you wanted this metal drive shaft up here, I guess you'd have to buy it. This drive shaft only comes with this kit, apparently. So you have to buy this kit and then cut it down. And eh, it's a mess. There are other aftermarket drive shafts if you really need one. So it would just be cool to have a matching chrome drive shaft. Either way, that's what we got. I dig it. What do you think? What do you think? All right, guys, get out there, run your cars, crash them, smash them, and bash them, but don't break the expensive parts. Thank you.